song. Very, uh, kind of mysterious. That sounded a little bit like it, huh? Well, it's a very simple song to play. And we're going to talk about what Paul Stuckey was doing in this in, uh, through the course of this lesson. Now, this, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the song. No, first I'm going to show you the, the secret to what it takes to make this song sound like a record. This was done on a 12 string. This is not a 12 string, this is an 8 string. Baritone, as a matter of fact, that belongs to our, our TG family man, Bart. And I really want to thank Bart for loaning me his 8 uh, string when he was here at, for camp just recently so that I could uh, at least get something that would sound close to what happened in this lesson. Now what Paul was doing, let me tell you a little bit about the song first, because uh, Paul was of course part of Peter, Paul, and Mary, and they had a string of just they were, they were phenomenal in the 60s. And you hear something like this. So one of the keys to this song is the finger positions of the chords are really important. Um, but what key you play it in, and then he, would, he now sings it now, the, by being up here in the key of C, it really ends up being a little lower than, well, significantly lower than in E, where he sang it when he was younger. Okay, I think that's enough of the background and, and some of the technical issues with, with playing the wedding song. We will in the now, so I'm mostly going to walk through this in the sixth string in standard tuning and just talk about the picking pattern and the chord shapes. There aren't that many, there are a couple different parts of the song. We have an attachment that has the chords and the lyrics, a chart, and then I just have the introduction tabbed out, 12 measures or so, um, because what, that picking pattern is very regular throughout the whole song. So very similar to the picking you hear in uh, Landslide, um, where not too many pinches, matter of fact, almost none, uh, and the 12 string covers a lot of notes. So some of the notes, sometimes we change what we're doing on the 12, on the 6 string to try to get a note that was maybe played as one of the doubled octave notes, or the, an octave note that he played with his thumb on the 12. So, that's where we're heading with this. Talk about the chord, the picking first, the chords, and all the usual stuff in this lesson on Paul Stuckey's The Wedding Song. Let's take a look at the tab first and, and work our way through the intro and then we're just going to apply that to the chord progression uh, coming up. So uh, we're starting with our G, with the, with the D up on the top, which really ends up being a G5 because we don't really, we never hear the B in the melody. So all we're hearing is this droning and we have four measures of just the basic pattern. Well, we'll end this with playing it the way it sounded in the key of E flat by being tuned way down and capoed up back up to get to E flat and as close as I can get with an eight string. this route, capoing the 6th string to the 5th fret to put us in C, um, when he goes to the, the C chord, we hear, the, we hear a little bit of a melody. Um, we hear that little walk up, the E and the F sharp. And then, when we get to the C in the bass, the bass becomes the, the fifth and third strings. And the melody alternates 
back and forth between a high G and F sharp at the third and second frets, really the eighth and seventh. So you'll hear that in the one video that I found of him, uh, Capo to the fifth, playing it uh, again more into the 80s, maybe even later. Like, oh, no, it might even be, no, no, it's, it's even later than that. So, uh, it might, it might be 2000. oh, I should have done this research, but hang with me. If, um, if you're confused about that little part, put a little comment in here and I will uh, see what I can do about tabbing it out. But it's, it's just something you just kind of randomly threw in in the variations of the, of the last version. So, okay, that's it. Enough of these, too many guitars, too many capos, and hope you enjoyed this lesson on the wedding song.